माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन लेट्स बो डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडली एंड पुट बंधन श्री गणेश मंत्र Let us bring our attention on our left heart. Shri Mata Ji, kindly come into our heart. and we fill our heart with divine love
let us bring our attention on our sahasara blesses with a thoughtless state kindly bring us into present establish our self realization fully and remove all the doubts let us listen to shimata ji's speech you are beautiful you are really beautiful at some times one feels little bashful to know how beautiful one is and so fragrant and so grand and so dignified that new dimension one has to achieve for that god has placed within you the power which is the germinating power which has to rise and to give you this realization this is your kundalini about this in the bible there is reference of tree of life to be <coughs> nourished by the water of love this is all prophesied that he will appear before us as tongues of flames 2000 years back Christ thought it was sufficient. I mean, people didn't allow him to speak much. They just saw to it that he would not explain himself. Very intelligent people. They could not understand the simplicity of Christ. He was the fundamental. he was the foundation he was the support of this universe and they crucified him. wonderful he was the spirit he came on this earth not to teach you what moses taught you because moses had already taught you what was to be taught He did not come to repeat the same thing, but to give you a higher idea. Why? Why Moses said that don't do this and don't do that? Why did he say it should have a purpose? People don't understand even this much. Why you should not tell lies? Why? What's wrong? Why should you not steal? why should you not commit adultery what's wrong what goes wrong in it supposing there were no human laws there's nothing wrong in it do as you please why these laws were created for what purpose 
because by observing these laws you stay in the center you don't go to extremes you don't get lost you don't don't get attacked by negativity by people who are trying to exploit and to torture you who are against god who are against your revolution but then after all the ultimate is to get your realization to become one with your spirit that's what it was all this show for what for example in a wedding you arrange everything and everything is bought and the hall is arranged and is all decorated and everything people are wearing very nice dresses and there the bride doesn't appear so what it's not a very what is most important is that both of them should get married in the church where everybody is sitting down or wherever it is decorated in a temple instead of that all the decoration if that becomes important and not the wedding then what's the use I mean that's exactly what we are doing about our religion believe me I live near one catholic church and I've lived always near some temple or a church or a mosque somehow all my life but I have seen them making preparations all the time today they are singing beautiful hymns there they have been singing for the last 2 years nobody is bothered about their realization their parents must have sung for generations they are doing the same thing very busy you know organizing everything very busy extremely busy they have no time to talk to any they are all preparing but for what are you preparing my children what are you seeking when are you going to see the bridegroom and the bride that's what it is that christ came on this earth to give the second phase to show the second phase of evolution is the resurrection is the resurrection of your being what about that baptism you are to be baptized he came for that and how many of us are really seeking a real actual baptism again i say you don't have to do anything about this seeking you have to just ask for it and it is going to happen it's going to happen it has happened to many many people all over the world in england also it has happened of course ups and downs are there but it happens it should happen to all of you that this kundalini should rise should pass through all the centers and pierce through your fontanel bone area and you must get your realization all other nonsensical things that people tell you all other things that people tell you you may go there if you like i have no objection there are people in this country who are doing horrible things like spiritualism it's very bad it's the most dangerous thing it comes in the form of i mean the people are honest so they call it spiritualism some of them are dishonest they call it something else but people from my country can be very cunning and they call it guru business business it is an enterprise regular enterprise if you want to be befooled i have nothing to say you go ahead 
If you have so much money, go and pay for their Rolls Royces, it's all right. If you are interested in yourself and if you are really interested in knowing your spirit and manifesting its power of collective consciousness, your own power and not the power of the Guru, then please stick on to Sahaja Yoga. It's a very subtle happening. It works out, but also one has to know that after realization you have to have self-esteem, you have to respect yourself and you have to work it out, otherwise it just disappears. It's a very heartening thing. First when I came to London, I had four people, then six people for four years, can you believe it? I was struggling with them because in Sahaja Yoga, now you must have understood, you cannot just pay some money and become the member, there's no membership. How can you have membership for this? Can you imagine? Even the fishes could not have a membership when they wanted to cross over. You cannot become members. You cannot be branded anything, you have to get realization by which you start transforming. It's a thing that has to happen to you. It's not a thing that you can purchase in the market. I mean, it's instant. How can you pay for it? I mean, just think people are paying to the tree so that the flower becomes the fruit. It's that absurd, can you believe it? It is really that absurd. But it satisfies some people's ego, I think, which is a stupid stuff, I must say. If the people were not that egoistical, they would not have, they would never have crucified Christ. It's their ego which crucified them. Stupidity, that's what it was. The one who came for your emancipation was crucified by human beings. That's the stupidity of the ego. Or maybe some sort of a stupid or you can say silly belief that by giving a one be to the flower, it will become the fruit. That means you are naive. So either it is ego or spiritual naiveness, you can call it naivety, whatever you call, that people do all these things and accept them. You have to accept only the truth and nothing else. If it doesn't happen to you, all right, nothing wrong with Sahaja Yoga. We'll work it out again. Maybe there's something wrong, you are not well, maybe you are suffering, there's a problem, all right, next time. And next time, and next time, it's going to work out that way. You must have patience with yourself, I have all the patience. Only thing that is needed is patience, no money, no effort, but patience and self-esteem. I think people who have got realization and have stuck on to it are the people who are really very intelligent. They could see it so clearly because logically they have reached that point and they see that this is it and they come to it, they get it and maintain it. I think the simplest way to understand Sahaja Yoga is that it's your growth which is important to you, not what others are doing, what other people are like. For example, I've seen also some people come to Sahaja Yoga, get their realization and say, you see, there was one man 
he was a sahaj yogi and he said such a such thing. What does it matter? What does it matter to you? What matters to you is your own development. I mean, in the West, you see, people have lots of ways because they are quite brainy people, Man, their brain is always thinking. So they will try to find out the way to escape. But in Sahaja Yoga you do not escape, you start and see for yourself the truth, the reality in the present. Don't escape it, don't try to escape, that's the only thing, that's the only understanding you must have, that I'm not going to escape it and not to be afraid or frightened of anything. It is going to work out, work out for all of you, but do not try to escape it. There are so many ways and methods. I have seen it myself now for the last seven years. I have been here. Can you believe it? And I have seen how people escaped. For example, a person may escape by saying, I had a very bad childhood and this was happened in my childhood. But that's not. I am not concerned with it. You are all right. Then somebody might come and say, there was a lady who came to see me, see me and she said, Mother, I am a prostitute. All right, doesn't matter, come here, let's start. There can be someone who might say that, I am not yet ready. That's one of the commonest, very common. It's me who has to decide, not you. I will know that. Once you are realized, you will also know. That doesn't matter. As I said, to understand totality of love, total love, you have to know that these are all just specks. The ocean, the oceans of oceans of love will wash off these specks in no time. But have faith in yourself, that's all, have faith in yourself. After all, you are human beings. From amoebic stage you have come to this. There must be something special about you, something real about you. This is one type who tries to escape, another is who tries to aggress. No use. You cannot aggress. Impossible. You cannot aggress me because I cannot take anything from you. If you shout at me, all right, so what? I'll give you love still. I'm that type, something queer, isn't it? But I'm really like. I do not take anything from you. Can you understand that? I do not take your aggression. I cannot take it. You aggress me, I absorb it. I have a shock absorber. But by that, you are delaying your own improvement. By the other method of escaping, also you are delaying. Avoid these two things. It is you who has to gain, not me. I do not have to gain anything. I am here to give. I give because I enjoy that. I cannot contain within myself that the time has come for you to enter into the kingdom of God. You have to enter now. The time has come as many as possible have to enter into the kingdom of God. That is your birthright. I have just come here to tell you that and to enlighten you in the sense like the lights which are not yet enlightened are to be enlightened by one light. And if I am the enlightened light, why should you feel bad about it? I wish you could come here and become that. I wish you could raise the Kundalini and do the job. I'll be very happy. 
I wish you could work this way. Oh, I would love to be your disciples. I have no disciples. These are all my children. The eldest one is now only 98 years old. So, one should not feel hurt, the pride should not be hurt. And that you should not be in any way aggressed. In any way you should feel that I am trying to exploit you. Because that's the main problem people have that I am trying to exploit, but what are you going to give me? I would like to know. Why should I exploit you? Yesterday somebody asked me this question, that maybe if you become like a child, we might be exploited. I said the child can never be exploited. You cannot become like a child. If somebody is an innocent person, then the innocence is the most powerful thing. If Christ were crucified, people think because he was innocent he got crucified. Do you know, he has got powers. In Sanskrit they are called as, his powers are called as Eka Dasharudra. Eleven destructive powers, he is the most powerful destructive personality. But he has powers also to control him. Now that he is going to come back. Not that he is not going to come back, but this time he is not going to get crucified. He is coming back with all these powers. Then he is not going to talk to you or convince you, nothing of the kind, but he is going to work out the other way round. I have to give you counsel and tell you and make you understand that the time has come for you to get this. Sooner you get the better, the sooner you establish it the better. I'm sorry today we don't have the chart to explain to you about Kundalini, but these people have got some papers which you can read and understand and Later on, when you get realization, work it out and see for yourself. Do not come here for one day. There are some people who did not get tickets for the drama and have come. Such people are of no use. You have to be people of some quality, of some level. Otherwise, Sahaja Yoga does not work out. It just spins you out. You see, here the question is how many stick on? Not question of how many are coming. Very few people stick on because the quality is just. Every moment the quality of people is just. Every moment your quality is just. Not by me, but by yourself. The quality is just not by me, but by you. You yourself will know that you have this problem. As soon as there is light within, you start seeing the problem yourself and then you know that this is the problem. And you are not identified with it because you are separated from it and you start curing yourself. I do not judge you at all. So this is going to happen and when this happens, then know that you have to get transformed to that beautiful thing which is being promised by all the sages, all the scriptures and all the great incarnations on this earth, by which you will know how every religion is integrated, every incarnation is integrated and how these people are all related to each other and all are one family, those who are incarnations, while we are unnecessarily fighting among themselves and how they are in unison, a complete concord among themselves, while we are just fighting that this is mine and this is mine. For this, first of all, your integration must take place and that is a condition. If it does not take place, again we'll work it out. We cannot argue it out, we cannot do anything of that kind, it has to work out. One thing I would request, yesterday we had a little problem with someone who came quite drunk. You see, 
It is the awareness which is going to be enlightened. If you are drunk, it's going to be difficult. If anybody who is drunk in this group, please be careful. You better go at the back if you are drunk. And I don't know if drunk people know that they are drunk or not. But I, the fellow was drunk, no doubt, and everybody told me that he's drunk and it was horribly bad. So I would request you, such a person who is drunk should go at the back and somebody else will work. They need little intensive understanding. So this is what it is. We are now going to start this program. There's no technique, nothing, just your fingers are like antennae and they have the ends which have got sympathetic nervous system expressed and manifested there. We have to just get them enlightened so that the invitation to Kundalini goes through your channels within yourself, which I cannot explain to you but you might have seen in the paper, and that the Kundalini rises and that you get your Realization. The first thing that happens to you when the Kundalini rises about this center, this is the center of Christ. And He has done all the thinking for us, we unnecessarily are thinking. He's done everything for us, there's no need for us to suffer or to think. That part He has crossed. Now it is better that we have to enter into the kingdom of God, that's all we have to do. So when the Kundalini rises about this, you will feel thoughtlessly aware. That means you'll be aware, but there won't be any thought. It's called as Nirvichar Samadhi. Samadhi. Samadhi means enlightened awareness. Nirvichar means thoughtless. And then it pierces through your fontanel bone area. You start feeling a cool breeze com coming towards you from me. But later on you find it's going from you. This should happen. This is the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost as described in the Bible. Of course, if there are Hindus, I don't know, they read these days, normally they don't read any one of their ancient books, but if they have read anything about Shankaracharya, he has written Adi Shankaracharya. He has written volumes on this cool breeze, which he calls as Saundarya Lahari or Chaitanya Lahari, meaning the waves of beauty and the waves of Chaitanya is. What is it coming in English? Chaitanya is the vital divine force. Chaitana means awareness and Chaitita is the person who is enlightened and the one who emits these vibrations, cool vibrations, is the one who is a realized soul. We have many children in this country who are born realized. Now I've met some human beings also who are born realized, but they are rather difficult people, I don't know why. <laughs> Though they are born realized, they get possessed by their ego sometimes and they are not that evolved as they should be and they start behaving very queer, in a very queer manner and their behavior can be sometimes so shocking that it's most surprising and they mesmerize people and they take to all these things to assert their uh, influence on other people. It is a very surprising thing that those who did not get Realization through Sahaja Yoga, who were born realized, have not been able to express themselves sometimes and then they felt that they had a knowledge which was not complete about it and they felt they were different and they tried to assert on others their ways and methods by learning mesmerism and things like that. 
It's most surprising, but we have someone here already who is a realized soul, who is here, who was possessed, who came here, got cured, and she's all right now. So even if you are realized, you can be possessed. But in Sahaja Yoga, the advantage is after realization, you know all the techniques by which techniques of the divine force which is flowing through you. That means when you have to have the energy, you have to put to the means. But once you get the energy in you, you should know how to maneuver it. Then you know how to protect yourself, you know how to improve yourself, how to cure others, how to give realization to others, how to awaken others, and everything you know, all the secrets. And the most secret, most techniques of the divine force are told to you. Of course, it is all learnt gradually by you and you cannot pay for it because you cannot value it. It's not human, it is divine. Thank you very much.
Shri for this beautiful meditation. Thank you again and again. Let's bow down to Shri Mataji and take Bandhu. Our morning meditation tomorrow, same time. Jashimata. Yes,